Hi folks. Well, I, I, I've said before. Yeah, what gives you the impression that I'm talking to you? If I'm talking about what God is doing now, clearly I'm not talking to that sort of person who is a tear. Because obviously a tear isn't weak, so therefore that tear doesn't care about what God is doing now. I'm not talking to a person who's of church because you have to be of God to understand or yeah, want to hear that. Because a person who's of church, their spirit, doesn't really care about what God wants to say. A person of God, when they hear truth, their spirit gets excited. So put it this way. Yeah. A number of videos that I do get a thumbs down. And I've made this point on numerous times and it doesn't seem to have made a difference to people. Well, to some it may have, but yeah. When you give a thumbs down to a video, you are making a public spectacle of your disagreement with a person and then just walking away. If all you do is give a thumbs down, you are making a public spectacle by the fact you're giving a thumbs down but then rather than actually comment and help the person to understand where they're going wrong, you just walk away. Now the people that do this, they will claim that they are loving Christians. Is that a loving act? No. It is not in any way, shape or form. It's not a loving act. It's an act where you're, you're saying... What you said offended me. Okay. We're supposed to be a blessing to people. Now, blessing to people means, okay, if I disagree with what somebody is saying strongly enough to leave a thumbs down on a video, then I will most certainly comment. Because if I feel strong enough to leave a thumbs down, I'm going to comment. Because I think it's important for that person to understand where they went wrong, if I think they went wrong. And if I'm wrong, then it's important for me to point out how I think they're wrong, so that they can actually point out how I'm wrong. Now, and if you think someone's right, again, point that out. You know, that's an encouragement. So point that out. It can be. Depends on where you go for encouragement, I suppose. Some people do look to their, their videos for encouragement. I don't. But some people do. I quite like it when people comment. And especially when they disagree because, okay, that challenges me. And that's good. I'm okay with that. No problem at all. But yeah, and as I say, if you are that type of person who would do that, I'm not talking to you, am I? So basically, you can ignore my channel because I'm not speaking to you. Yeah, you know, if, if you think that I was wrong about the word or if you think I was wrong about the church, then if you are a loving individual, then it is your duty, according to your understanding, to help me to understand where I'm going wrong. See, this is why I can look at a church, like yeah, the river church I was in, or the community church of God, where they won't do that. They don't do that. They don't care about any of that. They don't care about people's journeys in any way, shape or form, because they don't care to actually help people to walk better. They don't care. And so, okay, that shows what you're of. Because for God so loved the world, he sent his only son. 
because he loved the world so much he sent his son to die if your version of love is i'm going to point out that i disagree with you and then just walk away as if you mean nothing you're not of god are you this is the point so people disagree that when i've said well i know that church isn't right i know it isn't the other day i was on facebook looking at uh, for videos of that river church and there was a video uh, on facebook of the river church um from 2000 and i think 19 where they welcomed in a new pastor and they talk about handing over the reins to this new pastor and the church was nearly dead two years later yeah yeah and churches like that think they're doing a good job as i say i mean it's, it's like anything if if you want to have a successful relationship with a human being if you want to have a successful job if you want to have a successful church understanding the mistakes from the past are very important very important if you keep on being sacked from jobs if you understand the mistakes you're making you're less likely to make them in the future if you're ch in churches where the church is uh, basically dying and you want to rebuild that church understand the mistakes of that church in the past and you can maybe avoid a lot of those mistakes and in relationships if you had relationships where they were toxic and bad understand at least you're part of that and then you can at least cut those mistakes out the problem is in churches uh, they don't want to do it in relationships they don't want to do it employees they don't want to do it there's no desire to learn from mistakes now learning from mistakes certainly you cannot say in any way shape or form that you love god in any way shape or form and yet you are rebuilding a church without actually understanding the mistakes and maybe looking at the foundation because if you understand the church as a building if that church was a building and it was collapsing all the time you would take a look at the blinking foundation wouldn't you before rebuilding it but they won't do that with church because yeah, they don't want the church to be empty for a while. And yet, yet, during COVID, the church was, was completely flipping empty. During COVID, that church nearly died. And they didn't use COVID as a time period to rebuild it properly. It is astonishing. But you can't say you love God if you could not care less about his church or his people enough to do the job properly. That's why I say that the River Church, bringing in a pastor from America who's still going to be the head pastor of that church and he's still going to have to fly back to there and back to other places like Mexico or wherever he's got other ministries. That's idiotic. Your church nearly failed and you're bringing in someone to help it move forward who will hardly ever be there. That's insanity. That shows no care or concern for the members of that church. It's just a case of bring somebody in. Not a case of bringing the right person in. And so when I do videos about that, I'm saying to people who want successful places in the past, let's learn from things. Let's do things right. Because yes, was that church a, 
a fantastic example of how to do things wrong. Yeah. And as far as I know, they're still in that because I'm still banned from that church. So as far as I know, they're still in that situation of doing things wrong. Because how would I know any different? They don't actually have any recent videos coming up on Facebook. Their last video, they do have apparently a Facebook page, but they still haven't got anyone to actually put anything on it. Yeah. Astonishing, yes. And the community church of God, I've said before about Manuel, who was in charge of everything, at least when he was in charge, they actually did have a Facebook page that they were adding to on a weekly basis. I don't think they've added anything since he left. That was over a year ago. So, yeah. I've spoken about some very, very bad examples of church, but they have put themselves in those positions. They've done that. And when you then ban someone from church and someone that can't actually see how you're doing things now, I can't comment and say those churches are doing better. Well, the River Church, they had, I think still have, a marketplace. So when there's the market day in the local town, they have a marketplace. They very, very rarely, the last time I saw them at the marketplace was over a year ago. Over a year ago. That market meets every month. They can actually be out there in the streets on that Saturday morning, or well, Saturday, and you know, having a presence, but they can't be bothered. They just can't be bothered. And you care for the area? No. That's the point. You don't look at what people say, you look at what people do. You look at what they do, look at what they're doing now. Yeah. When I was at that church, they were the lady who actually, well, one of the ladies had a market stall and the church had the market stall next to hers. And she was asking people to help. And again, how are you going to do that when the pastor of the church is hardly ever there? Things like that will always get overlooked, won't they? That's one explanation for it, isn't it? The decision maker isn't actually there. Well, the, who should be the decision maker certainly isn't there. Not according to the evidence. Yeah. I can't tell you about any other church because I've not really been to one. The African church, I've spoken a lot about that, but I can't tell you more about that. They seem to be welcoming people. But, the, I mean, the problem is it was a baby church, a very, very baby church. And I'd be very surprised if the people there will be there in the next two years. Whether that church will actually be there. So, yeah. Yeah. But this is the point. Is that when it comes down to it. All those people in those churches. Generally speaking. Are not speaking to you. Because you're showing yourself as not of God. So why would I be speaking to you? There you go. You take care. God bless. I'll speak to you soon. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Be blessed and be blessed. Bye.